Hi, I'm Danielle. Welcome to this Enchant House. So a while back, I did an unbox. I did my first unboxing video for a Hendrickson box where they sold these sort of outrageous boxes that go with their special gin releases every year. Um, I did the lunar, lunar. They had their lunar gin and they had a moon box, and I it was one of my first videos. I it was a very early video I did. I have a link here, I guess, if you want to go watch it. That was neat. Is this? It was a very neat idea. Um, but yeah, I've got another one. Um, so they released the most recent release from them is Neptune. This box has been. This has been a video we've been. I've kind of put off doing, but so. Um, every year, Hendrix Gin comes out with a sort of new flavored gin in addition to the regular Hendrix. Um, and la the most recent one was Neptune. It had sort of this kind of sea salt flavor to it. It's actually a really interesting flavor. I have a bottle of it somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, and you can pick it up most places. You can pick up Hendrix Gin. But every time they come out with these special editions, they kind of come out with these weird kind of promotional boxes that have like all sorts of weird, crazy stuff in it. Like, so the lunar one had all moon themed stuff for your moon viewing party, and, and there was some really nice stuff. There's like this really great blanket. There's a moonstone. I got a great pair of steampunk goggles. <laughs> um, so yeah, and so I'm, I've got the next one, which is the Neptune one, which is here. So um, I'm going to unbox it today. So this is their sea theme gin, um, and it's got to have some really sea themey things in it. So I have got my opener. This, by the way, I got this at state sale. I love my little vintage box opener. But here we go. Okay, la, la la. I don't know. Like this is hard to like. This is setup is not. Un the last one I filmed in my dining table, but my dining room I, is in the process of a redecoration. So I've been, and honestly, I love filming out here better. I love how my, I've made this more of a set. But here we go. You guys are just gonna trust me in opening the box. Oh wow. Okay. So here it is. Oh wow. This is a. It does feel, seem smaller, but it might just be my imagination. I'd have to go dig out the, I, yeah, I saved the box, because these are such neat boxes. Oh, I'll put the carpet box over here. But this one's really kind of really pretty, so you can see. So it's had the Hendrix gin, and it's got like that little mermaid, and um, there's a, like a pelican with a monocle here, and uh, this is, oh, it's Neptunia gin. God, I've been saying that. No. So the mo most recent release is their Neptunia Gin. I have a bottle of it around here somewhere. I have tried it. It's got kind of this salty, I guess maybe seaweed. I don't know. It's got like a little hint of salt to it, which is really interesting for a gin. I haven't tried it in a cocktail yet. I've just had it like gin and tonic or just sampled straight. It's good. I, I enjoyed it and I'm happy to try to do the unboxing now. So um, this box has kind of been sitting around for a bit, but let's get to it. Yeah, so it's a pretty box. It feels like it's smaller, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and open her up. Ooh, so wrapped with got this really pretty tissue paper. With this with the tip of the seed. Oh, there's a smell. There's definitely smell. Like something smells in here. But oh, look at this. This is really pretty. Like I'm gonna like I kind of want to save this and see if I can do something artsy with it or frame it maybe. I don't know. Also, I should probably, since we lifted it up, there is art also on the inside. You can see there's a picture of the bottle there. Um, these, these, the cucumbers, because Hendrix is like, it has a cucumber, normal Hendrix has a cucumber flavor. And we see our pelican friend there. It's very, like, this is, like, I love their stuff. It feels very kind of whimsy, Victorian steampunk. That was, the, that was my, I hit my thing. I love this tissue paper. This is really pretty. I want to save this. This is really, like, I love that there's, like, there's, like, there's cucumbers, and then there's, like, the little, the little snail things that you see on there. I don't know, this is so pretty. Let's save that. Packaging. Okay, here. Oh, oh, I think I know what smells. It doesn't have, because it doesn't have a lid on. Oh, this is, I think this is what I'm smelling. This is this candle, which, it smells good. Um, it's kind of. Um, 
Maybe not. It says sea salt. I don't know. It's like it's not salty. I'm trying to think of. It's very um. I don't know. It's like the scent all flew away now. I don't know. It's like it was really strong and now it's all gone. I don't know if I'm just gotten overwhelmed by it, but um. So inside this surf and sea salt scented candle is a seaside spell captured by an enchanted mermaid, known to cause senses of seaside wanderlust, aromatic bliss, and mystic charm. May it help you conjure the scent of the sea and the magic of Hendrix Neptunia gin. No, and this is. William Gerani and Sons, New York. But yeah, so that's the candle. Let's see if we can get the focus here. And then it's got the little warning on the back, which isn't really a warning. It's like, hey, this is a magic candle, which cool, I guess. Um, so next up is this Ishaga Organic Seaweed Natural Exfoliating Mask, which that's kind of a cool thing. Um, I go ahead and open it up and see. Ooh, that's very, very brown. Instructions for use: apply to clean skin over face and neck. Leave for five, ten minutes, and damn it. I'm gonna try this out. Um, maybe I'll try it out, and if you guys are interested, I'll post it. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'll post it on social media. Let's just kind of see what it smells like. I have to smell it. You guys can't smell. I have to smell it for you. Oh, oh wow, that's really. Oh, well, that does not smell good. That smells very. It smells. It's very brown, and it smells like you would think it smells. It smell. It's. 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 It smells like mud. Which. Well, I mean, we'll have to see. Like, I'm sure it makes your face feel really good. So I will definitely try it. Um. Next up is this. Which is uh, more packaging. This is supposed to be like it's a noisemaker slash um, lights for seaside sounds, and this is really cool because it's got this little remote too. Um, I think it's gonna turn it on. Does it need batteries? It probably needs batteries. No. Hopefully they sent ins they gave instructions with it. We'll try it in a second here. And I'm pressing buttons on it. But that's kind of neat. And then they gave us USB cables for it too, which I'm assuming, yeah, maybe, oh, it might need to charge is the problem. We'll charge, I'll try it out later and see. Um, this is the thing, so there's always, like these boxes always have some kind of, this is all, so far it's been kind of practical-ish, kind of like what you expect. But there's always something silly in Hendrix and they're kind of, there's always this little sense of whimsy and this is the sense of whimsy I'm taking these off, but are their ocean sound headphones which are two calorie shells on a headset and it's supposed to be like you listen to you hold the sea shell up to you. let's see if i can hear the ocean oh my god yeah it is like holy, i mean it's holding a seashell up to your ear but yeah you, oh wow so yeah um yeah, these are silly, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these like a lot of the steampunk stuff like that what came in the lunar box was like like, the goggles I know were supposed to be the silly thing, but I wear those goggles all the time because I'm in the steampunk. These, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I used to collect seashells, and these are nice gallery shells, but I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> this, I really don't, this is neat, it's funny, but I really don't know what to do with this. Um, oh, there are some batteries in here too, so maybe, oh, I bet you these are for the remote that go with the sound thing. We'll try it out in a minute and see. Um, there's something here wrapped in tissue. So let's see what this is. Um, I don't remember what I got from you. Okay. Homestia. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at these. These are cock these are cocktail stirs. These are little if you can see they're little octopuses. Oh, these are really cute. So yeah, these are definitely going with our sort of uh, Adventurers Club steampunk bar stuff that we've got going on. Like, these are really nice. These are really, really nice. And I think, I know what the last thing is, so they always include a set of crystal um, glasses. 
And I already have a set from the, the Lunar Box. I think this is the same thing, so let's see. Yeah. So, let's, I'm just going to get one out for now because they're identical. But, um, so, once again, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this box for myself because reasons i don't know i like a little bit of the silly and the whimsy but yeah so these are the glasses they come with these are real this one these ones do say neptunia gin i'm not sure if the other ones say lunar gin or not. actually i have i think the other ones are plain so these say neptunia gin on them which is kind of different i mean these are really lovely cut crystal glasses um and it's nice to add to our collection these kind of do will match the other ones though like i said they say neptunia gin on them so um and all the paper stuff, of course, is at the bottom of the box. So um, there's recipes and stuff in here. Oh, here are the instructions for, it's a Lucky Stone projection lamp. Um, if you guys can see that, I don't know if I can get that in the focus. But yeah, I will do that in a minute here. But so let's see, let's, we've got lots of cards here. So welcome to the world below the surface, the realm of Hendrix. Oh, now I'm getting the, what is that smell? You know how all candles start, scented candles start, the other thing is I am already burning a scented candle, which is not helping. It does smell like salt, kind of. It smells very, kind not kelpy exactly. I don't know, we'll have to look at the see. So this is, let's go ahead and read our cards here. They all have text, I'll go through all the cards. So, welcome to the world below the surface, the realm of Hendrix Neptune Eugene. Infused with an uncannily refreshing blend of coastal botanicals, Neptunia is inspired by the rugged, majestic sea that sits two kilometers from the distillery in Gravan, Scotland. An oceanic magic is exceedingly difficult to bottle. Neptunia is a limited release gin. Curious occurrences are common among the peculiar shores of the Neptunia coast. Mermaid sightings, six-legged starfish, strangely refreshing citrus trees that sprout sideways from the windswept cliffs. So the way Neptunia's navy recently discovered the recent discovery of this lost at sea trunk is not exactly extraordinary. What is extraordinary of what evidence of an ancient underwater spa for a limited time only an immersive spa and sip experience known only to discriminating merfolk and friendly leviathans has come ashore and ashore inspired. This, that's actually a table. They have a short inspired with one word by the Ayrshire seaside car. It's trash day. Join us in this captivating journey to the depths of the ocean. To sustain this o oceanic, Hendrix Gin is in partnership with Project Seagrass has donated 100% of sales. This kit, oh, this is good. I didn't know this actually. 100% of the sales from this kit to fun. Neighbors bringing in their trash cans. We can wait. Hope. So I did not know this. To sustain the ocean and enchantment, Hendrix in partnership with Project Seagrass has donated 100% of sales from this kit to fund conservation of seagrass meadows and raise awareness of the critical role they play in providing food and habitat for countless marine species. Very cool. Very cool. So that's this card. Um, so this is, um, they, do, they do have a guided meditation. I don't know if I should put this up here, but I'm going to. Um, you, I guess you can go check it out if you want. Um, guided meditation for part of your your, your Magic of the Sea spot kit. Um, your Hendrix Neptunia Gin Magic of the Sea spot kit. One, friends, family, mariners, merfolk, and kindred adventurers gather around. First, submerge your party below the depths by turning on your ocean projector, thus illuminating the walls and ceiling with reflections of water and enchantments of the sea. Light your seaside candle to bring forth the scent and sand and surfs, establishing the perfect ambiance to embrace the siren call of the sea with a cocktail. Craft the signature cocktail of the Neptunia Fizz, which is sure to um, satiate the senses of a fizzy spark of sea spray. Defer to your recipe card. Scan the QR card in the back of this card. This shall enable you to queue up journey to the bottom of the sea. Guided meditation. Immerse yourself. Below sea level, deep below the surface, into the wonders of intrigue of the depths of enjoying Neptunia Fizz, prepare three slices of cucumber. Place the shell phones over your ears to hear the sounds of the waves moving through space and time. <laughs> Soak an additional sea source botanicals through restorative spa treatment. These shag 
Ishigaga exfoliating mask made of seaweed and rose detoxifies and stimulates the system, calming ocean sounds reverberate like Triton himself. After the first round of refreshment, we encourage you to wash off your mask. Now rejuvenate, prepare for your second drink, and raise a toast. Offer cheers to Neptunia as you embark on your shared oceanic journey. Vivante Oceanus. Oh, God, my battery's dying. Dang it. Um, so, okay. Second battery for the save. All right. Um, so they have project projector instructions here. Um, charging. Uh, yeah. It sounds like I need to project, uh, project, turn, charge it. Um, these are they did give me instructions for the projector on top of that, the actual instructions. So, um, uh, so the oh, it does have lullabies. Like it looks like. So we'll try it out in a minute here. Um, but maybe I'll go make a fizz really quick, and we'll see what we think. Um, so this is the Hendrix Neptunia fizz. And this is that's their picture of it on the back there. Let's see. Sorry, my light. So the Neptunia Fizz is two parts Neptunia Gin, one part fresh lime juice, one part simple syrup, soda water, and cucumber to garnish the so slice the garnish. Um, maybe I'll try making one here in a minute. We'll see. Oh, so there's oh there's a couple different ones. Oh god, there's a fizz. Um, this is the tonic. Uh, the tonic is Neptune Gin, tonic water, and cucumber to garnish. Ooh, here's one of my favorite. I do love a gimlet. I do love a good gimlet. Um, and then it's, this is just, a, once again, the gimlet recipe is Neptunia gin, lime juice, and simple syrup. And, um, okay, this is, this is, uh, this is the Bayside Sparkling Sangria. Uh, put that up there. So eight parts Hendrix Neptunia gin, four parts lemon juice, eight parts pineapple juice, Eight parts falernum, one bottle sparkling wine, one apple chopped. I don't have any apple. Dang it! This would be a good. This sounds like a. This is this is, sounds like a really good one. Um, orange slice, um, pitcher combined. This is this. Oh yeah, this is a pitcher drink. So because it's supposed to be like a sangria. Oh, hmm. This, and then. So then there is the Commodore's Garden Punch. Um, two parts Hendrix Neptunia Gin, three parts coconut water, one part lime juice, one part elderflower cordial, one part blue curacao, one pinch of sea salt, orange taste, orange bitters to taste, still fronds, and edible flowers to garnish. Oh wow, that's really, that's really cool. Um, I'm I'm gonna see if I can find some of the Hendrix really quick. Find my nut bottle of Neptunia, and we'll see. I'll make something up really quick, cause, um, yeah. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I frequently have drinks tonight with my husband and try cocktails all over there all the time. Um, I'm gonna go try to see if I can put one of these together really quick. Uh, probably just a fizz or something, cause I I think I'm missing something. For all of these. I, all right, so um, I'll be back. Okay, so welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is sort of last minute improvisation, but why not? Um, hi. Um, so we're going to be making the, the Neptunia Fizz, which this is basically it's just gin and soda water. But um, So I washed out the Neptunia glass, and I've got some um, of the some of our nice fancy ice. It's not clear yet, but it'll look really clear once I pour the stuff on it. Um, got my lime, which I'm going to go chop really quick because I'm going to juice it. Chopping over here, sorry. I'm going to edit that out. Let's see. Um, so I've got my lime. I'm going to need my juicer here. Um, so usually start building cheaper ingredients. So we're going to do the gin last, well, sort of very last, but so um simple syrup so it calls for one part simple syrup i'm kind of halfing that because they're probably using store-bought simple this is our homemade and we make it a little sweeter to impact it so i'm cutting it by half um because usually simple syrups are a two to one ours is a three to one i think if not my husband will comment on this video and tell me i was wrong so let's go ahead and pour 
that in there. Simple syrup. Um, next is one part lime juice. Um, by part, I'm usually going by ounces for anyone. So I'm doing juice. Yeah, that's a half a, it's about, about one of these small limes will give me about an ounce here. So that's about a half ounce right there. So I've got about an ounce. Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. Ah. Improvisation. So I'm pouring the lime juice. And then we've got the Hendrix. Like I said, I tried it before. It's it's kind of got a weird kind of saltiness to it, which is kind of cool. So pull it. Up. But this is their Neptunia. So and this is the one. So we're doing two parts of that, two ounces. Pour that in. Not gonna leave a lot of soda water for this version of it because apparently, if you look though, my keeps it down here actually. Uh. I may have to spread this a little more. No. No, so, this is some fresh made soda water with the soda stream, so I'm just going to top that up. Probably could have gone with another ice cube. My earring just fell out. <laughs> so, top that up. Oh, it fell apart. Oh no. So if you're watching this, this is my earring. I, I this is one of the things I made, but the, the little heart fell off and I have to re reattach that. Um but yeah, these are just things I made. <laughs> um so if you wonder why I'm not wearing the earring for the last part of the video, that's why. I'm gonna go put this aside. Um so down the one earring. We're gonna give this a quick stir. Got my spoon. The idea is we don't want to make it more fizzy necessarily, but we're trying to bring some of the other ingredients up. I should probably put a lid on this because it's like, I just realized it's, it's still perfectly good soda water for later. Okay. I know there are people, so yeah, this is the Hendrix and this is my fizz. I'm not going to garnish it with QQ cubes i will see you back at the video camera okay <laughs> so we just decided to mix up a cocktail this afternoon um so i've got actually well, i didn't garnish it we'll garnish it with one we'll give another stir i forgot i had these to start with but yeah so thumbs up to the sea But that makes a really good fizz. Like, I just got this kind of brininess the gin has. Like, I talk about the salty kind of this. I don't know. Like, salty is not quite the right word. Like, I don't want it. It's not salty. Briny is probably a better word for it. But, um, it definitely maybe you should have put the cucumber garnish in because Kendrick's is always very cucumber heavy. And it would probably, if you like that cucumber, that will bring the cucumber out more. But this is really good. This is. I did good. Um, so, yeah, this is the a gin fizz using the Neptunia, using my new glass, using my new little stir. Um, but yeah, that's my unboxing. So this was the video. Like I said, I absolutely uh, Hendrix. Uh, this is not sponsored, but if Hendrix wants to sponsor me, <laughs> um, but yeah, I would love to do more cocktail content maybe on here. If you guys are interested, uh, let me know below. Um, also, I will try to get this up and working and maybe take some footage of it for you guys. And if I do, it will be right here. <laughs> so, hi guys. I did get it to work. Um, it's getting, getting in rainforest mode right now. Um, the problem is, is it doesn't seem to want to charge. Like it said to charge till this light turns green. I've let it sit for 24 hours and it hasn't yet. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But 
when it's plugged into the charger, it works. Right now, I've got in rainforest that makes this pretty sort of rainbowy pattern. Hey guys, welcome to this different angle of my kitchen. Um, we can switch it out. It does different musics. Oh, I guess this is the ocean one. Lullabies. And it has a Bluetooth mode, so you can use it as like a Bluetooth speaker, which is kind of cool, I guess. Got some rainforest here. I'm still trying to. I can like bring the lights. I can make the lights brighter or dark. Like there's bright. Like there's. I can adjust the brightness a little bit. Looks like. But. All right, and then there's a mode light. Like I can make it just be bright. Also a flash mode. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Where it's just the blue light. So you can kind of see up here. But yeah, I don't know. I have to see if I can get it to like work without being plugged in. But I don't know. It'd be kind of nice to have it in my bedroom. I kind of like this rain sound. Anyways, that's it. Also, though, in kind of a weird mode, um, I press the power button. It also turns on my, my under-counter lights. <laughs> you can hear it going in the background, but yeah. It doesn't turn them off. But turn them on, so that was kind of weird. But yeah! Oh, I can't really see the Neptune gin on this one, I think. I don't know. Maybe if the, it's hard with me the light, but... Yeah, this is really good. Um, but yeah, I do like... I recommend Hendrix as a staple gin a, for if you like gin cocktails um, and you like cucumber. Us, it's weird. I do not normally like cucumber. It turns out I like the flavor of cucumber. I just don't like the texture. I don't know. But so that was my unboxing video. That was a, an interesting box. Honestly, this is the spa. Most of it is like a spa set and it's kind of nice. I probably maybe not what I paid for the box, which I'll put here since I honestly don't remember what the box cost. Um, like the Lunar box though, this is an, it's a nice assortment of like gifts. This would be a nice gift box. Um, you can check out Hendrix on their website, of course, and they have a store where they sell such things. I think you can get the, just these, they do sell glassware and more unusual stuff and, um, they, they, it's part of their like promotions and stuff, but yeah. Uh, so that was another delightful Hendrix box. Um, I have my delightful seashell headphones now, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. But actually, maybe I'll take these and, you know, when I take a bath, I can put these on and listen to the ocean. <sighs> Oof. But yeah, this is a fun little box. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, comments, questions, all that down below. Um, do you like gin? Do you like Hendrix? Do you want me to do more cocktail content? If you've seen what I do on Instagram, would you like more how-tos on how to do cocktails? I'd let me know below. <laughs> Just like the effervescence of the... This is coming up to me. Now, of course, I'm going to take another sip. Yeah. Um, I am also on social media. There are links to my Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, all down below. I'd love to talk to you guys there. Like I said, Instagram, I have a whole reels of drink night with my husband. He's really the cocktail person. I just benefit. <laughs> um, but if you want like to see that more content, let me know. Please give this video a like. Please check out my other videos. Um, like I said, have all sorts of fun, whimsical stuff here you can check out. Uh, if you like what you see here, please subscribe um, to catch up with the latest and the greatest. <sighs> I hope you guys have an enchanted day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.